Hi everybody and welcome back to Total OS Today. Before I begin, thank you for all your previous comments concerning Linux Mint 11 Katya, an excellent stellar edition, another one from the team at Linux Mint. Okay, now to this topic of this screencast. Why still no Linux desktop? I've talked about this before, but I felt the need, I guess, to say it again. So let me give you some fresh thoughts about why there is still no Linux desktop for the masses. Number one, too many OS's, too many choices. Creates confusion for new users. As a Windows user, I have now come to the conclusion that the number of Linux operating system outnumbers the number of Linux users. Now I know that's not true of course but the point I'm trying to make there are too many OS's and not all of them are very good out of the hundreds and maybe thousands I guess only a few can really qualify as an outstanding operating system based on Linux and too many choices creates confusion for new users especially Windows users who want to try a Linux based operating system. Number two, who is the voice or face of Linux? Who can a new user relate to? Several months back I, really, uh, I received a very nice, very kind uh, personal message from a viewer and I forget, I, f I forget who it is, who it was. If you know who you are please let me know. And the message went something like, uh, hey in case you didn't know this, uh, you have a nice or a smooth voice, or you sound like the other guy from Twill this week in Linux. You both have smooth voices, and, and I thought you guys are the same. Cute. Thank you for the message. No, we're not the same. I have the better voice, but Twill is a lot smarter than me. <laughs> anyway, the, the point I'm trying to get at is you know who speaks for Linux who is the voice of Linux sure I have a total OS today channel and the purpose of my channel is to convince Linux or Windows users to try Linux Twill or this this week in Linux another outstanding YouTube channel mainly talks about Linux and does a very good job <clears throat> but the point is yeah there are people like us trying to promote Linux but who is the official voice of or face of Linux for the masses you know who can a Windows user trust uh, sure someone like me who has Windows and uses Linux I can probably and I have convinced Windows users to try Linux and of course uh, uh, getting back to the smooth voice of Twill I think his name is Jordan hi Jordan I completely trust them when it comes to Linux, but I have some experience to it. But for a new user, I mean, the, my my question still still stands. I guess who is the voice or face of Linux? Okay, number three, no advertising. I think it's self-explanatory. People like to be entertained. You know, getting back to those uh, a few years back, Apple versus Linux com uh, commercials where Apple lambasted Windows. I believe it was it was. Uh, Windows Vista I thought they were very funny and Apple got the message across of course I think Windows 7 is a lot better than anything out there but that's a different story okay number four hardware compatibility again this goes back to drivers and making sure everything works I have a Canon printer that for some reason well I know why there's just no driver that I could find that will work sufficiently well in Linux and lastly number five this is probably the most important bugs yes Windows has viruses Linux has bugs Linux Mint and Zorin releases when ready not when finished let me say this again Linux Mint OS's and Zorin excuse me and Zorin OS's they release when ready not when finished are you listening Ubuntu the last three have been somewhat disappointing although I will say Nanny Narwhal with unity looks cool I'm not ready to take the plunge yet into unity 
but as a Windows user I kind of like it because it's different but I'm not ready to give up Windows 7 yet okay those are my thoughts let me know what you think of why still no Linux desktop too many OS's too many choices who is the voice or face of Linux no advertising hardware compatibility and bugs let me know post it on the total OS today website or on my YouTube channel and as always Please don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and I will catch you, as always, sometime in the future. Thank you.